Okay, today is August the 4th, 2016, and right now at 11.30 a.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 82.3 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 43%. Uh, we have a barometric pressure of 29.96, which has dropped uh, from 30 inches uh, the night before last, and we have a dew point of 58 0.2 degrees, and right now it's a hazy sun, a mostly clear uh, skies in the Los Angeles area right now. All right, so we're uh, right now uh, we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and uh, we're watching uh, Yvette right here being blown apart. We can see a huge blast pattern right around that storm right there. So they are targeting that storm. This is the leftovers, the remnants of uh, Howard right there. They blew that apart. Uh, the night before last, uh, early in the morning hours, uh, the middle of the night, this was blown apart. You see a tail moving towards um, uh, Baja, Mexico right here. Uh, yesterday, this tail was moving right towards Southern California. Since that time, the patterns have changed, the wind currents, and uh, this has moved uh, from a direction towards uh, uh, Southern California down to uh, into the uh, Mexican area there. All right. Okay, so we have. Uh, Still have thunderstorms right over uh, the Four Corner States. Yesterday, these were blown apart overnight. Uh, also, we have what looks like a right angle right about here through Arizona. We'll take a close look at that. And uh, yesterday, also, we had an area right here, just on the uh, western tip of Texas, that was trying to spin counterclockwise, an area of thunderstorms. This was all thunderstorms, red uh, thunderstorm area all through here, and this was blown apart. We've got a lot of steam left over, and what we see here is a transmitter uh, right on top of that low pressure area, and this is just north of Hurricane Earl, which is uh, plowing its way through the uh, peninsula, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, and on through uh, Mexico, or one of those uh, northern uh, Central American countries, I think they said Belize, Belize, uh, it's tracking west, and it may uh, dump out into the uh, eastern Pacific Ocean, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, also, we have something over here trying to spin counterclockwise. This is part of the jet stream flow here. Uh, we have, uh, for the last week, actually two weeks, we've had uh, sort of a, a blockade all the way along here that has prevented the uh, moisture from dropping down, we can see that still we have high pressure that's been parked in place right here. And if we look at the uh, the rainbow map, we can see that all this moisture is mushrooming into this area of high pressure that is stationary, and it's been installed uh, right in place there. It's not going anywhere. So this uh, flow has to turn to the left. Some of it is moving to the right, and that uh, this high pressure will maintain separation between. This area right here, which is trying to spin uh, counterclockwise, right here, and uh, this uh, flow here. So, this is going to be separated, and they're doing that by uh, placing high pressure between uh, these two uh, moisture fields right here. All right, and then we have thunderstorms down south of uh, Hawaii, which are being blown apart. We can see the blast patterns. These are not listed as disturbances or anything on the uh, central. Pacific map as of uh, yesterday evening. I was looking at the maps. I just didn't have a chance to make a video. Uh, now that may have changed on the uh, Central Pacific hurricane map. Let's go ahead and look at the the uh, National Hurricane Center map for the East Pacific. We see that we have Yvette, which is a tropical storm with uh, 45 mile per hour winds, uh, moving 15 miles per hour to the west. Okay, and then we have another disturbance right here with a 10% chance of hurricane formation. Now, this storm, Earl, is uh, passed right through uh, this area. Well, actually, it, it moved to the south, and it's right over land right now. We'll take a look at that. But they are uh, forecasting it may move out back into the uh, Pacific as Javier. They'll rename the storm from Earl to Javier if that happens. Okay, here's the western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see a little closer what's going on. This is uh, Howard, what's left of Howard. They blew that apart. Uh, we have uh, an area, this is a transmitter right here, which is focusing descending air, heat and descending air right into this area, which was 
trying to uh, spin counterclockwise yesterday right here. So all these storms have been blown apart, but they will rebuild uh, throughout the day. Uh, we can see things are starting to redevelop right, right through here, and that will uh, we'll keep an eye on that all day. Let's look next at the uh, this is the, the rainbow loop. Do have some rain uh, happening here in these four corner states, also in California. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at the IntelliCast map, and we can see that today there is some rain. Uh, First of all, there were some heavy thunderstorms over Las Vegas last night in the uh, Lake Mead area, Hoover Dam, so that's good. That's the only good news I can talk about today. Uh, so Southern California gets all of their water, most of it from Lake Mead and Hoover Dam, the uh, Colorado River. Uh, we can see some uh, uh, we can see some rain here on the uh, Doppler radar. We have, uh, looks like a Big Bear. We're getting uh, some thunderstorms right here near Big, uh, Big Bear Lake right now. So that's interesting, just uh, east of Big Bear. There's Big Bear Lake right there. Okay, so that's interesting. We're getting a little more rain than, uh, than I expected to see today. Uh, for the last uh, week or more, they've been, uh, these weather controllers, these sociopath weather controllers have been preventing rain in our state. We've got a huge fire on the uh, Big Sur coast right here, south of uh, San Francisco. You can actually see the smoke on the uh, Modus Today map, uh, yesterday's Modus Today map, if you take a look at that one from yesterday. Okay, uh, let's look at the, uh, here's the uh, Western uh, U.S. Visible Loop. Take a look next at the, uh, this is the water vapor map for the southwest. See where that transmitter right here is uh, focusing descending air heat, which is a descending air, and that is uh, pretty much destroyed this uh, low pressure development right here over eastern, eastern Texas and part of uh, Mexico right there. Okay, now here is the uh, infrared map. We can see what's happened here. This is all uh, completely dissipated by that heat. It blew that apart. And here's the uh, visible light map. We can see a pretty good return, uh, a blast pattern, right? We go from the night to day transition right there. Right here is where they hit that. You can see the blast pattern right there. Right along that one edge on the northern edge. And right here we see an arc. Let's go backwards. See the blast pattern right here. Right there. Shows up much better on the uh, daylight hours than, than, and of course, they're photoshopping here. Okay, so that's what's happening uh, over eastern, or rather western Texas and New Mexico. And then we have right here, blowing that apart, that thunderstorm area right there, and targeted. Let's look next here at the, uh, this is the western Atlantic. This is Earl, which made landfall uh, this morning with 80 mile per hour winds. It strengthened to uh, 80 mile per hour winds as it moved on shore and we can see that the color change they are hitting this with microwave also this disturbance right here is being targeted right there and these could very well merge together if all this moves offshore together uh, this could reorganize uh, very quickly in these uh, 85 these waters right here about 87 88 degrees or even warmer now here's the visible light map. We can see the photoshopping going on over the cores of these uh, two uh, areas right here. If we just stop this, we can uh, take a look at that. There's the photoshopping. That is really crude. OK, 
Okay, and we can see the indents, the dimple marks right there where uh, they hit these storms with microwave right here and there. Over here as well, keep an eye on this area. This is a thunder, large thunderstorm that is being blown apart as well. Right here, these big crater marks, dimple marks. Look at that. One there, and there, and there. And we see these giant craters develop. On that. So the air is superheating this area as well. Otherwise, this would become a hurricane and probably move right into uh, possibly into Florida. So there, there is good, uh, good and bad from this technology that's being abused. Unfortunately, it's being abused and, and used for financial gain on the uh, stock market. And their weather people are the actors that are paid to uh, report the weather are not telling us about these various aspects, but we're doing it here. Let's look at the uh, surface pressure map. And we can see the uh, eastern Pacific is still being dominated by high pressure, perpetual high pressure right here. We have this uh, upper level low. Uh, this, is, this is actually a surface low that extends all the way up to... Uh, uh, I believe the 300 millibar level. We'll take another look at that. This is the uh, leftovers of Howard. Okay, and then uh, I believe that's Howard. Pretty sure. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, yeah, 500 millibar. That's that's Howard right there. We're showing a ridge of high pressure right here on top of that storm to maintain to control this uh, storm from rebuilding. Otherwise. This thing would rebuild and bring rain to possibly Southern California. Okay, we have high pressure indicated right over Texas, right here. This is where that area of low pressure was trying to spin counterclockwise yesterday, just north of Hurricane Earl, which is down here. All right, let's look at the, uh, also we have an upper level low here, mid and upper level lows right there, and uh, these are going to be blocked by all the high pressure that's installed throughout this area. Okay, here's the 300 millibar, which is 30,000 feet. You see low pressure indicated here. And we have uh, high pressure all through here, this entire area. And we have these upper level lows. These are gonna be blocked by the uh, high pressure. Okay, so that's the uh, report for now. If anything develops with Earl, we will uh, do a second report today. Okay, that's it.